Growth happens when learning happens. I am there for you and we are there for each other. And let's just be there. Let's keep learning and let's keep growing. And now let's get started to solve the problem on the screen. So we have to find the finite Fourier sine transforms of the function f of x defined by f of x is equal to x when x lies between 0 to pi by 2 and pi minus x when x lies between pi by 2 to pi. So now we have to find finite Fourier sine transforms. For that, what is the formula for finite Fourier sine transform? So the formula here is nothing but finite transforms of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to pi f of x into sin nx into dx. So now in between 0 to pi there is an another limit pi by 2. So I will introduce that one. That is for your sin transforms of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 f of x into sin nx into dx plus again we have to start with pi by 2 to pi. So there are two limits 0 to pi by 2 and next pi by 2 to pi f of x into sin nx into dx. Now I will substitute the values that is for your sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to integral 0 to pi by 2 c between 0 to pi by 2 our function f of x value is nothing but x. So I am substituting in place of f of x I am writing x into sin nx into dx plus between pi by 2 to pi what is our function value between pi by 2 to pi our function value is nothing but pi minus x. This is pi minus x into sin nx into dx. So this is integration by parts. Now we have to use uv rule. So the Fourier sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to this is integral 0 to pi by 2 x into sin nx into dx plus this one is pi by 2 to pi this is pi minus x times of sin nx into dx so this is u and this is v this is u and this is v so we have to use integration pi parts so integral u v dx is nothing but u we have to leave v we have to integrate minus integral derivative d by dx of u integral v dx whole dx so if i apply this formula then see what will happen then for your cosine transforms sine transforms of the function is equal to this is u i have to leave x as it is v i have to integrate for integral sin x is nothing but minus cos nx by for x it is 1 it is 1 minus integral derivative of u we have to make a derivative of u this is 1 and again integration of v which is nothing but minus cos nx again by n of dx so the first one is completed for this same condition u i have to leave as it is so this is pi minus x v i have to integrate for integration it is minus cos nx by n minus integral again we have to make a derivative of u for pi it is 0 for x it is 1 this is minus 1 and again for sin nx it is minus cos minus cos nx by n of dx so we have the limits here the first bracket is of uh, 0 to pi by 2 and this one is pi by 2 to pi again we have another integral here so for that the Fourier sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to this is minus x cos nx by n integral cos is nothing but sine this is sin nx by n already there is n so this will be n square this is plus minus pi minus x into cos nx by n this is for cos it is sin that is minus sin nx by n so already there is n it is n square so here the limits are from 0 to pi by 2 and here the limits are from pi by 2 to pi now i'll substitute upper limit minus lower limit so that We'll get the Fourier sine transforms. So here 
the Fourier sine transforms of the function is equal to if I keep pi by 2 here then this will be see if I keep pi by 2 here in place of x upper limit this will be minus pi by 2 cos n pi by 2 by n plus this is sine n pi by 2 by n square so upper limit for lower limit this is minus of minus plus if i keep in place of x0 this is 0 and this is minus sine 0 by n square so upper limit minus lower limit so in place of x if i keep the upper limit this is minus of this is pi minus pi into cos n pi by n minus this is sin n pi by n square and if i keep minus pi by 2 this is plus pi minus this is pi by 2 this is cos n pi by 2 by n plus if i keep pi by 2 here this will be sin n pi by 2 by n square so now i'll rearrange all this that is for your cosine transforms of the function f of x is equal to this I can write as minus pi by 2n into cos n pi by 2 and here it is 1 by n square sine see here this is sine n pi by 2 and this is 0 and we know that sine 0 is always 0 just I'll substitute and here pi minus pi so I can cancel this one and uh, if this will be minus 0 this is minus sine n pi by n square and if I take this 2 as LCM this will be 2 pi minus pi into cos n pi by 2 and this is 1 by n times this is 1 by n or n square what it is so this is n and later this is 1 by n square times of this is sin n pi by 2. Here we have certain values that sin 0 value is 0. So this value is 0 and, uh, and later still what else is there? Let's check. Mm -hmm. This one see. Then 4 years sine transforms of the function f of x is equal to minus pi by 2n into cos n pi by 2 here remains and plus 1 by n square this is sin n pi by 2 this is 0 this is 0 and we have sin n by value as 0. So sin n by 1 by 2 by 3 by any pi is 0 and so this will be 0. So later 2 pi minus pi what it will be this will be pi by 2 times of 1 by n into cos n pi by 2 plus 1 by n square into sin n pi by 2 if you observe this one so this is minus pi by 2n this is plus pi by 2n into cos n pi by 2 n pi by 2 so this is plus and this is minus so we can cancel these two terms so what remains here therefore for here sine transforms of the function is nothing but 1 by n square this is a sine n pi by 2 plus this is 1 by n square this is a sine n pi by 2 therefore the four year sine transforms therefore the finite four year sine transforms of the function f of x is given as 2 by n square 1 by n square plus 1 by n square this is 2 by n square sine n pi by 2 so this is how we have to solve so I will keep bringing up these videos for you. I am going to continue help you and please reach out and speak up with your comments. If you really like this video, please raise your thumb, share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. And thank you so much for watching.